Remember this. This is the magic triangle of Graves' disease. Graves' disease is a combination of dermopathy, of thalmopathy, and hyperthyroidism. Okay, so that is your Graves' disease. Let me show you some pictures, right? Can someone tell me what do we see in this picture, please? Any offers? What is this picture? Proptosis, Tahir, correct. What is this in this picture, please? Clubbing. And what is this? Dermopathy. What is this? This is your goiter, right? And what is on this picture on the right? Dermopathy again. So remember these pictures. Remember that triangle. That is your Graves disease. Grave disease is commonly asked in the exam. Yes, Busra, you're right. Lead leg, you can get in uh, grave disease. Okay. So, what is the correct answer here? I think we've done this question. This is repeat. My apologies. Right. Okay. That was about your endocrine moving on to few questions in nephrology are we ready right number thinks we are ready number are you learning something or you think we are proving to be too difficult Right, okay. This is a very interesting question. Right, please take half a minute to read this question. Right. Poorly controlled diabetes is a risk factor for infections. Three days history of severe pain in right flank. So right flank, background, someone says, Horia, why do you think it is acute pyelonephritis? My goodness. Right. Yeah. This is pyelonephritis. What are the common bugs in pyelonephritis? Any offers? Eighty percent are actually equalized. Most of the UTIs, gang, you're very right. I appreciate your knowledge. Yes, you're spot on. The other common organisms can be Proteus, Enterobacter, and Klebsiella. But if you're asked in the exam, your answer should be a default answer of E. coli. Right. Okay. What is the answer here this time? CTKUB, correct. CTKUB is an ideal investigation in this situation. It will show you 99% of the renal stone and is a gold standard investigation for renal stones, right? The good thing is that it does not need any contrast. Done without contrast, right? So, what abnormalities can you pick up in these CTKUBs, what is the abnormality here? I've written the answer. That is the stone in the ureter, right? Blocking the left ureter. And what do you see here? This is your normal kidney, and this is your atrophic kidney. This is all seen on CTKUB. 
Ok. Right, okay. Seventeen old man. I don't know whether we should call him a man, whether we should call him a boy. Strictly speaking, he is still a child. Seventeen year old man is referred by his GP after presenting with swollen eyes. Brilliant. I am getting all the right answers apart from one. Brilliant. I'm thoroughly pleased. Marvelous. Post up to cocal glomerulonephritis. Spot on. Why this is not a nephrotic syndrome? Simply because we have not given you any data. Why this is not a Wilms tumor? Because the history is not suggestive. No information of albumin. There is no history about protein urea. Absolutely, absolutely fine. Glomerular nephritis, likely post apteprocal due to sore throat. So look at this picture. This is your post apteprocal glomerular nephritis. Look at streptococcal pharyngitis, and this is streptococcal infection in pretigo, right? Hematuria, hypertension, and peritibial edema. That is the whole story of your Naba. Why you say it is neurotic? Do you want to say nephrotic? Mistaken. You're forgiven for that mistake. Right. Are we happy with this? Let's move on. Okay. Right, okay. I will wait until you give me the right answer. 24-year-old man presenting with painless hematuria. That information is enough in a 24-year-old man. He is known to have well-controlled type 1 diabetes. That information is only red hearing. Josefa, why this is three, IgA nephropathy? Josefa, I want you to tell me, please, why this is IgA nephropathy? Korea, Sir, nephropathy? because three days history, four days history, or painless hematuria, or also mild throat infection. Or mild throat infection, if you three days history, or three to four days history, so IgA nephropathy. I quite agree with that. This is actually post infection. He has recently recovered from the mild and urine dipstick is positive for protein and blood. This is IgA nephropathy. Right, okay. So, what are we doing here? What is the answer, please? So most people think BPH. So given this patient history, what risk factor may have contributed to developing an infection? Chronic urinary retention and benign prostate hyperplasia that is possibly playing the role. What four other symptoms would you ask about his history in relation to an ongoing urinary problem? Right. Can we revise it together, please? Hesitancy, yes. Pain, yes. Urgency, yes. Yeah. Poor stream, yes. Luxuria, yes. Brilliant. Well done. Episodic inability to pass urine. <coughs> so these are all BPH things. What two physical signs might you expect to find on examination of his abdomen and rectum? Two physical signs. Okay. 
enlarged pro prostate palpable. So palpable bladder, enlarged prostate, palpable kidney. Well, you may or you may not, but these are the possibilities. So, okay. GP takes a MSU, midstream urine, which is sent for microscope and culture, a gram stain relatives, which is sent for microscope and culture. A gram stain reveals gram negative bacillus. What two possible organisms might be responsible for this? We have already done that. So, E. coli, Enterobacter, Klebsiella, Pseudomonas, right? The patient is seen in urology clinic and operation is recommended to relieve his chronic symptoms. What operation is most likely to have been suggested? Okay. Hifsa, what is TURP? I want Hifsa to tell me, please, what is TURP? So, Sir, it's transurethral resection of prostate. Excellent. In the exam, when you're answering, you will write the full answer. Like Alia has written transurethral prostate resection. That is how we will write. We will open up and write the full answer. And though TURP is the correct answer, but I will write in full. Excellent. Very pleased. Transurethral resection of the prostate. Right, okay. So these were the few questions. Now, guys, before I go into infectious diseases, I need your help. 